Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Um, I wanted to talk about the PayPal situation and their refusal to deposit the funds to Eric July until he uh, meets a standard that they don't ask mega corporations to meet. So as we all know, Eric July launched the Ripperverse. Uh, a lot of us bought uh, our books from him, and Eric July... Uh, wanted to point out that although we said, hey, PayPal, we want our money to go to Eric July, PayPal said, no, we're going to hold on to it Be in, in, to protect you from a small business. This is one of the deceptive business practices and why the parallel economy idea has been so... Um, building steam over the last few years um so for for those who probably know i mean if you're watching my channel you already know what's going on uh with eric yeah he came out did a video um uh didn't update uh to be transparent to people and he's letting you know what his business is going through and the trials and tribulations of being a newer business uh and what's happening so obviously there was a pre-order campaign for isom number one uh, and all the other swag stuff that he's got going along with that to launch his Ripperverse Comics company. Um, <clears throat> PayPal, in their infinite wisdom, decided that they uh, they are the uh, the the pure uh, uh, un you know the, the pure unmarked uh, uh, elite, and they will decide whether or not Eric July and his small business. Uh, is honest enough to make sure that, you know, we, we, we want to make sure that, you know, your money is safe. And yet, what they don't tell you is that they're keeping the money from Eric July while building interest on it. So literally, and I, I, I believe we paid with PayPal as well uh, for an option. Just it's what worked out with us financially. July has been quite expensive in my house. Um and PayPal has violated the, the, the social contract here. Now, they might have their terms of service and all that and be like, well, so to protect you as the consumer, we want to make sure that you get your product. No, 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 that, that's no, no, you don't, you don't preemptively do something when nobody has done anything wrong. That's the problem here is they immediately target these small businesses or these small campaigns and say, oh no, well, we just, we need to make sure that they're virtuous businesses before we give them your money. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I don't mind if you have something built in on the back end and I say, hey, man, I ordered this stuff and it's fucking December and I still haven't gotten it. And, and Eric July said it was going to be in August or September. And they go, well, you know what? Yeah, here, we'll give you your money back. And then PayPal can go back at Eric July if they need to later. That's not what's happening here. Eric July hasn't done anything wrong. He said, here's the deal. You send me your money now. I'll send you to book around this time. PayPal said, well, how do you know he's telling the truth? That we don't do that shit in this country. We don't say guilty until proven innocent. And that's the crap that these major corporations are doing. And I know, like, I've been doing a lot of videos on the Ripperverse stuff because there's a lot here that I appreciate. And there's a lot that's getting pointed out. And the fact of the matter is, PayPal has no right to do this. They're breaking the social contract. They're breaking. They're violating their uh, uh, the 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 customers of Eric July, and then using that money to build interest. They're literally hiding behind this veneer of some sort of corporate morality, which that's a freaking joke. Saying that they know better than we, the customers, do about where who who this person could be with our money. Fuck these people. God, I can't stand them. This is the crap that pisses me off. That capitalism has been so utterly violated. If you know anything about it, it's capitalism is built around morality and trust. Okay? That's the only way capitalism can exist. All right? 
And if you don't have morality built into your transactions and trust built into your transactions, you get this corporatist, croniest bullshit. So to PayPal, fuck you. Like... You have no right to make interest off my money. I didn't tell you you could make interest off my money. Or maybe I did when I signed your fucking bullshit terms of service, which don't even hold up to legal scrutiny in a court of law as far as I know, because nobody fucking reads them, because nobody sits down with a lawyer, goes over them, and then signs that. So as far as I know, eh. But maybe I'm wrong on that front. I'm just, I'm just ranting at this point. This shit pisses me off. This shit pisses me off. And the banks do it too. That's why I don't go to a bank. I go to a, a, a small credit union. I, I'm like, uh-uh. I don't, I don't fuck around with these people who think that they know more about my money and where it goes than I do. And you know what? If I get screwed over in a deal, there's infrastructure in place that I can go, hey, this guy lied to me and I and didn't fulfill his end of the bargain. We haven't even got to that point yet. They're treating Eric July as if he is guilty before he even has a chance to fulfill what he needs to. And he came out and he goes, hey, everybody who paid with PayPal, there's a tweet. I'll I'll put it up here. I'll, I'll put it up now. But there's a tweet. He was like, for all of those who, who paid with PayPal, that's why I put the money up front first. So you guys are still going to get your product that you paid for long before I ever see that money that you wanted to go to me, okay? Eric July is operating as a capitalist with built-in morality and built-in trust. These people are operating as corporatist fucking pigs only so they can hold on to a large amount of money so they can make interest off of it for many months. They are literally using this system to make money off the money that they stole from you. And they stole from Eric July. And the sad fact is, is this system is built in such a way to keep people like myself a slave to it. And I fucking hate it. And I just have to figure out a way to get away from this. to get. But they keep wanting to raise inflation. And yet, we'll talk about that later. That's, that's a different story. I'm just pissed. I'm just pissed that my social contract was fucking violated. Eric July, thank you for being honest with people and thank you for updating people and thank you for pointing out this bullshit fucking business practices that these asshats are fucking doing. Go fuck yourself, PayPal. Give my money to Eric July. It's not yours. You want to take my money and say, hey, just for a transactional thing, it's 3% off the top for us to facilitate this transaction. That's fucking fine. I don't care if that's cool. You don't get to sit there on my money and make fucking interest off of it. Because that's exactly what the fuck they're doing. Fuck you. Give my money to Eric July. It's not yours. You take your fucking 3% or whatever the fuck you want to charge off the top for facilitating the transaction. That's honest. What you're doing right now isn't honest. Thank you guys for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I'm sorry. This, I'm, I'm pissed. <sighs> New video later today. Um, I'm going to be reading your guys' comments and going through them and answering them and trying to word some things a little better and trying to clear up some issues and highlight you guys because you guys have been so fucking awesome and you deserve to be highlighted, period. And I'm going to try to do that once a week, uh, barring, you know, shit that just happens in life. But thank you guys so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.